friend of mine told me, Kenya is an athletic country that thinks it is very good at football. The world knows us for athletics, we know ourselves for football. And you know that how? When Kina Porter got uh, warming up for world championship in, in Nyayo, nobody comes. When Gore and AFC play, the whole town is there. Probably we love football a lot. Well done. The football elections. I wrote to the chairman of the electoral board. I spoke to him today. I quote him. 10th of February, you will have a spanking new chairman. They call themselves, uh, themselves president of the FKF. <laughs> and we're telling you, whether it's a man or a woman, change football so that we can go to the, we can go and beat Cameroon. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it, uh, Dr. Hassan Wario, the Minister for Sports, talking tough as usual, and uh, this time he was addressing uh, football matters, and uh, we've shifted gears. Sports, but not football, and uh, I'm joined by people who know their football. I'll start on the farthest uh, is uh, Milton Nyakundi. Think your first time on Top Sports. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Milton Nyakundi is a uh, says a football consultant now. Sports, sports, uh, sports I, I, communication I, I, consultant. I, I correct. I'm a journalist. No. <laughs> <laughs> he represents uh, the federation here in studio. And uh, Dan Shikanda, Dan Shikanda, uh, vice chair, vice chair, has uh, been in active uh, Nairobi football politics. And the reason we have him here is to talk about those elections and also to talk about uh, football in Nairobi. Uh, this weekend we had Court Bureau and it was the place to be. And we'll be talking about Court Bureau Super Eight. And uh, when I talk about Super Eight. I have a person who actually does coordinate it all. It's called uh, Obala, and uh, welcome very much to Top Sports. Uh, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you all. So now let's uh, begin by basically what happened this week. Uh, first up on Sunday, we had uh, Court Bureau, and uh, Court Bureau is a tournament which has been going on for the last 38 years. Uh, editions uh, over the years have uh, been played at uh, Umeme Grounds in Ziwani. Uh, plan is to nurture uh, football in talent, and uh, shortly we'll be joined by the man who runs it all. He's called uh, Robert Ochola, popularly known as a Robo, and uh, we'll be talking about Court Bureau. But we'll start off with uh, Milton. Federation, uh, grassroots football, what have you guys done for grassroots football? Well, um, re really, talking about football, football is a mass movement game, and mm -hmm. uh, it requires the involvement of everybody. Mm -hmm. But in terms of nurturing uh, grassroots football, mm -hmm. what the federation really is supposed to do is to ensure that there are structures, there are policy um, uh, framework that uh, governs uh, that, 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 that particular uh, aspect of development of the game. In terms of what has been done over the past four years, mm -hmm. I think really what the Federation has done is to try to structure, to give a structure, to give a system th within which this can happen. Nakundi, let's just, uh, four years to put up structures. Yes. No, That's no, I'm saying within the four years, what has happened is that uh -huh. the Federation took time. Mm -hmm. Remember where we started, uh, mm -hmm. Dan can tell you. I mean, uh -huh. after more than a decade of madness and mm -hmm. factional leadership, it was not easy to come up and say, uh, you were under FKL, mm -hmm. someone was under F uh, KFF, and mm -hmm. now we are FKF. Mm -hmm. We are trying to bring people together. So. It has taken a bit of time to be able to do that, but um, in 2013, mm -hmm. uh, I think 2013 during the AGM, mm -hmm. w there was laid out a structure, a, a seven-tier league system. Let's run us through that seven-tier league system. Seven-tier system. You have KPL, mm -hmm. uh, which is the, 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 the top flight uh, football. Then you have the second division, mm -hmm. which uh, for purposes of last year was the FKF Premier League. Then you have the Nationwide, uh, which is uh, in two divisions. Then after that, you have the National Division One, mm -hmm. which has four... Uh, four zones mm -hmm. uh, countrywide. Then after that, you go down to the regional leagues, which are uh, initially they were the provincial leagues, which are now called uh, the regional leagues. You have two, three counties mm -hmm. uh, running those leagues together. Mm -hmm. they, beyo below that, you have the sub county leagues, formerly known as the district leagues, which is the, 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 the sixth, the fifth tier. Then below that, you have the, the, the constituency and the ward leagues. Essentially, that is the framework within which the league system is supposed to, is supposed uh, to, to, is to, to develop. develop. So, let, so uh, yes, uh, Nabola. Uh, 
on paper, yes, we know they exist. But then do we have those matches being played at the grassroots level? How many buys do we have in uh, the, 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 the leagues that we have? So uh, I don't know whether it's really functional. Uh, obviously, uh, obviously, in mm -hmm. a situation where you, you're coming, like, again, let's put everything in the right context. Mm -hmm. Four years ago, there was nothing happening other than KPL. Dan here can bear me witness. Yeah, KPL, KPL. Other than the KPL, there were no leagues uh, running a anywhere. Guys were running tournaments, and people have confused those tournaments to be a league, to be a way of developing football. Okay, you uh, cannot develop football mi without a league system. Milton, Milton, you, you're putting the card up before no, the no. rest. Let's, let's, no, no, let's listen. go slowly. Let me, let me, let me, let me, we, I, we need I to bring in, we need to bring in, we question. need to bring in the two gentlemen. <laughs> and the reason I'm bringing them in is we've had the elections and uh, the elections have been postponed over and over. And one of the reasons was we took so long to verify clubs. And if we had that structure Milton is talking about, then we'd know uh, in Wajir, whoever plays football is X, Y, Z. But now it is taking forever for us to verify this because these things don't happen. So, Dan, you were part of Nairobi uh, County football for a very long time. What is just talked about? Is it happening? Yes or no? Both no <laughs> and no. <laughs> Let me tell you something, uh -huh. something very interesting. Mm -hmm. When I, I actually concur with a lot of things he has said. Mm -hmm. When we did elections, we came from a background where there was nothing. Mm -hmm. there, was, uh, there was KFF, there was FKL, there was uh, Super 8, there was everything. Anyone who wants to buy, anyone who gets money, thinks that now I can be a, uh, I, I can be a leader, goes and starts their tournament. But we had a joint election where some of us were elected. Mm -hmm. The problem with football in this country is that the peop once you get elected, people start thinking, that it is time for me to go and make money. Mm -hmm. Football, in fact, not only the officials running football, mm -hmm. but the entire, uh, the, 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 the entire country, starting with the leadership of this country, going to journalists, sports journalists. In fact, at the moment as we speak, I'm very disappointed because there are journalists yeah, in this country who have actually taken sides and they're doing wrong things to make sure that wrong candidates get, uh, get in. Mm -hmm. So when we were elected, some of us came in with very good intentions, with very good ideas. But there are clicks which gang up and know that if these people remain in football, we will not make the money that we need to make. Mm -hmm. And they're forgetting, by doing things right, you are going to make a lot of money. They so think, the little money they are seeing, they think this money is ours. For example, when I was elected in Nairobi, I found teams were paying referees, teams were paying for security, and it's a lot of money. You're paying referee, a team is paying referees 5,000 shillings per match. I came in and told teams, I will look for, uh, uh, as a chairman, my job description entails making the environment easier for you. Mm -hmm. For you, uh, to make it easier for you, let me get a sponsorship so that the, the federation can actually pay referees. These referees belong to the federation okay. because I don't expect a team to pay a referee and then that referee goes on the, on the pitch and becomes non-partisan. Uh, okay, you of course, of course be partisan. Dr. Rui, let's hear from uh, Bala and uh, You've had Milton, you've had Daktari, grassroots football in Nairobi. I'm looking at Nairobi because uh, the two of you are very Milton. much active in Nairobi football, but we're projecting this to the nation. Uh, are, there, are the grassroots teams playing? Are the leagues that Milton has talked about functional? Let's start from there. I think what I would say is that, uh, first of all, we have to really tell the Kenyans to, to what really is happening in football. And uh, you see like uh, a place like Nairobi here, I can tell you for sure football has been mismanaged. Teams are really suffering. I concur with Dan with what he's saying. If you find uh, we talk of structures, uh, and yet the, the same same structures we, assu we assume to have them, and we abuse those structures in terms of when when people are elected. Uh, my friend Shikanda was elected, but he never lasted even three months. The forces he's talking about came on him because he had a good agenda. Uh, but, uh, by the way, I was his running mate during the elections. <laughs> 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 so you find uh, football in Nairobi, mm -hmm. people, people, people who are coming there, mm -hmm. they they don't have the passion for the sport. Mm -hmm. Probably it's it's uh, it's like it's like a cow people want to milk. Mm -hmm. So when you talk of structures in Nairobi, Nairobi football has been mismanaged for the last close to ten years. No good structures to say that this is. Milton is talking about even leagues in the world. I've never seen a league in the world, eh? Eh, because from where I'm coming from, I, 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 in Nairobi I come from a ward, and I've never seen a, a, a ward league or whatever, or a constituency league. 
So these, uh, these structures are just on paper, as, as my friend there said. So maybe but the real football is not being played. It's not being played. And Milton, you have, uh, he's made a claim, so maybe you get no, a no, right no, of the No, no, it's not a claim, uh, really. What we are talking about is that we need football to grow. Mm -hmm. And for football to grow, we must begin somewhere. Mm -hmm. One, the beginning point should be, we must have order. Mm -hmm. Order means you have a structure that exists on paper, then you start implementing. You cannot have something that is not existing. The, the, the English 27-tier uh, football system, for example, is, uh, is 147 years old. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are hardly uh, into the fourth year of uh, a federation that has looked, you know, like uh, it, is, it is running. So really, the word leagues may not have kicked off as uh, 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 as uh, uh, envisaged, but really that is the direction that we are heading, and that is why we are saying that at that level, sub-branch uh, officials, people being elected into those positions, now have their job cut out. Mm -hmm. They need to come in and say, you, you, your chairman of uh, Nairobi West Branch, uh, like he's running, if he comes in, then his job is, uh, is cut out. You have uh, the, the Federation has given you the blueprint. Now go on and execute it. Where there are challenges, mm -hmm. th then we should be able to come together and say, guys, we have to work together. Unfortunately, the Kenyan public, the Kenyan media, uh, journalists, myself included, we have got into this disillusionment of thinking that we can have Kenyan football at the level of the Spanish or German uh, uh, or, 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 or English that, level, that, for example. We note, cannot that get note, there. We are not note, there yet. On that note where Nakundi says we need to lower our aspirations, maybe uh, is the right point to talk about something that happened. Uh, the Super 8 uh, is a tournament that uh, started out uh, in 2003-2004 thereabouts. Uh, for eight seasons it was played. Uh, then for four seasons it wasn't played for a variety of reasons. Then it came back last year and uh, took university one and one uh, half a million shillings and uh, now super eight uh, the organizers of super eight are extreme sports uh, limited have decided to now move super eight from just an off-season tournament to league uh, three-tier league and uh, let's just have a uh, listen in on exactly what they plan to do and then we see maybe perhaps uh, do we need to lower our aspirations as nyakundi says or do we need to up the game a soccer tournament has grown in league and bound since its inaugural edition. The Super 8 tournament began 13 years ago as an inter-estate football competition in Nairobi. It ran for eight years before taking a four-year break in 2011 and resuming last year with Sportpace as the title sponsor and took university, imagine the winners pocketing half a million shillings. The new Sport Pesa Super 8 Premier League. In a move poised to shake up Kenyan football, Super 8 has now transformed from the one off off season knockout tournament to a three tier grassroots league. Last season, the Super 8 tournament attracted 102 teams, and it is from these teams that the leagues will be populated. The top tier will be the Super 8 Premier League. Nairobi County. It shall have 16 teams who finished first and second in the eight constituencies in 2015. The winners of this league will pocket one million shillings in cash. The second tier will be the Super 8 Division 1 Nairobi County. It shall have 16 teams who finished third and second in the eight constituencies in 2015. The third tier will be played as a tournament at the tail end of the two leagues and it will be an entry point to the two leagues. It will have unlimited teams who will play on a knockout basis with the top four teams being promoted to Division 1. All these teams have got massive following at the grassroots. We want to provide an entertainment platform, not only for, uh, it's not an opportunity for the players alone, but also for their families and friends and for our society at large. Extreme Sports, who are the organizers of Super 8, have landed a sponsorship deal of 35 million shillings from Betting Farm Sport Pesa to run the three Super 8 tier league. With the Kenyan Premier League being played concurrently with the Super 8 leagues, the issue of playing fields may prove to be a hindrance to the success of the new initiative, but the Nairobi County government has made a pledge. We have earmarked about six other fields that are in actually quite bad shape uh, to refurbish and turn them into stadiums. And these are grassroots stadiums inside the Mtaz. In addition to the cash awards promised to the top three in every tier, each and every club in the three tiers will receive a monthly pay of 10,000 shillings to be put into an income generating project of their choice. The goal of the Super 8 three tier league is to professionalize the way football is run in Nairobi County. Warote Kiru, NTV.
to professionalize how football is run in Kenya, in Nairobi and in Kenya in general. And Nyakundi tells us we need to lower our aspirations from EPL, Spanish La Liga, and accept that we are starting from down, going up. Obala, that's your baby. Just uh, do you have the blessing of the Federation? Uh, probably you have to maybe tell me what blessing means in football. Blessing means uh, you, you, football is run uh, under FIFA, and FIFA give uh, mandate to FKF, and then FKF distribute the mandate going downwards. So FKF, uh, have they sanctioned that three-tier league? I believe blessings are given in church. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But you understand what I mean. Is the league sanctioned? You see, w maybe if you talk in bl blessings in court, mm -hmm. Because what, what what the biggest problem uh, you see, Exxon Sport is a is a is a is a is a, is a, is a, is a professional company. We our, our main our main agenda is to is to nurture talent, and uh, when somebody asks you for blessing, and this is something that has been run for the last ten years, eh, you fail to understand why didn't uh, the blessings come in two thousand and four when we started. Mm -hmm. In the last 10 years, you've been running it as a tournament. Now you're it's saying... It's a league. So it's a league, 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 league sanctioned. So yeah, that's the league like, yes or no, that's but the it's a league sanctioned by uh, probably FKF. Before I respond to that, probably I might uh, need to ask, there are so many leagues being played in Nairobi here, especially. Mm -hmm. We have the Left Foot League. We have the, the Universities and Colleges League. Mm -hmm. All these are uh, football-related. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Extreme Sport is an exception whereby we need to... We need, to, we need to get we need to get blessings from the federation. So is that a yes or is that a no? <laughs> is it uh, in your ball, in your ball, maybe you need to come in. Uh -huh. This I think is what we, we need to be talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes, the federation is uh, uh, mandated to be you know developing the game at the grassroots level. Mm -hmm. But here we have a case of just corporates, people out of goodwill doing it instead. That is I think what we need to be focusing on right now, mm -hmm. not whether extreme sports is in I itself. Uh, you know, uh, certified to do th so, blessed or whatever the word you're using. So what Son Karuma here says, uh, the current FKF office killed off all tournaments such as the Super 8. What blueprints is Milton Yakundi talking about? We have uh, Sam Makoba, Makoha here says, uh, football Kenya has gone to the dogs. Nyamwe and Yakundi are just partly uh, uh, part of the problem. Let's go, soccer. So he thinks actually the Federation is responsible. Sam Makoha again says, I have noted that a number of journalists are taking sides in the Kenya football elections, which is absolutely wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, so a challenge there for the journalists. And John Githanga says, CS Warrior has put it right. Kenya is a global athletics powerhouse that is struggling with football. So the question <laughs> here is, uh, as, as, as you say, the Federation really is mandated to be giving those rights to the different companies that want to start. But then the Federation itself, is it doing its part in developing grassroots football? Yakundi. I, I think I, I have put it very clear. Let's, let's not get deluded here. Everybody needs to play their part. Government has its role to play in terms of uh, ensuring that uh, talent is developed at all levels. Section 4 of the Sports Act of Kenya 2013 is very clear in terms of what role government is supposed to play through the Ministry of Sports and specifically Sports Kenya as, as a parastatal mandated to do that. Football Kenya Federation is the link between the Kenyan uh, people and the international uh, football fraternity being an affiliate of FIFA. So that responsibility, that mandate in terms of giving the technical and uh, th that uh, advisory role and that linki linkage with CAF and FIFA should not be watered down. Let the Federation do its part. Yakun is going into so many so things. No, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because I have... No, Nyakundi. Let me finish. Let me finish. You have to give us all that. But Nyakundi, hold on. Just my question to you is very simple. You've issued a statement and you've said that the three-tier Super 8 league will not go on. Yes. Why? I think it is very simple. That is what I'm explaining. It is very simple. Nobody is stopping... Uh, sponsors or corporates from engaging in football. Mm -hmm. But we are saying, do it. Football is a game of rules. Do it within the rules. There is nothing wrong if extreme sports, as a professional uh, body, is not entitled to run the leagues. It, is as, uh, it, it should come in as an agency, for example, and say, we have been able to get this. This is the idea. Act as an agent. Run the league within uh, the real of the framework that is given. You can't but run Dr. a Nairobi Dr. County Dr. league Dr. Dr. without Kami, Nairobi brand. Nairobi, uh, Nairobi football is about to, be, to get professionalized. 
That is what extreme is trying to do. Nyakundi says no. We are not uh, the, saying no. The, the federation has to give it. No. So, so, so basically, I am not saying no. I, I want you to come in and tell us. <laughs> you're part, you've been part of football in Nairobi for a very long time. You've played, even in Kotbiro, you've played uh, with the Jews. Yeah. I want you to tell me, you've seen that story. What do you think about ex, uh, the three-tier league? Should it come in? Should the federation and extreme bury the hatchet for all those boys who are playing in the MTA to play football? It's very interesting. I think extreme sport have seen a gap. Mm -hmm. People are elected in the, in the federation and they go in and sit. They mm -hmm. do nothing, mm -hmm. practically nothing. Mm -hmm. I was part of Nairobi branch. Mm -hmm. By the way, I was suspended because I brought a sponsorship of about 270 million. People got jittery and thought that if this thing goes through, maybe Shikana will be the next president. <laughs> so there was infight. It is a true story. <laughs> and I can assure you what happened next is Nairobi was divided into two. Mm -hmm. As my term is running. Why? To scare off the sponsors. Now here is somebody who has gotten 35 million. By the way, that 35 million, it might be small money, but to me, mm -hmm. in football, that is a lot of money because mm -hmm. we have a leadership or leaders in, in football and who are going to be elected even in, in the coming election because they have bought the, uh, the, 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 the electoral board. They are going to be elected because of what is happening. These are people who cannot even write an email to go and look for sponsorship. Now, somebody is getting sponsorship, although he might be rubbing other people on, on, on the wrong side. Why does the federation? The federation is not in a position to get a sponsorship. Why? Do we have people who go into that federation and think that because I am FKF, my work is just to get money from people mm -hmm. and people run the show? Mm -hmm. So basically, very simple, very simple, very simple. Let's simple. not get it Nyakundi, wrong. Yeah. No, no, yes. Nyakundi, let's 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 break this down. Yeah, what do we need to do? Because the money has come in. No, no, no. Thank let you. me finish. Thank let me finish. No, let me finish. Let me finish my question. My question is very simple. Uh, they've seen a gap that your federation uh, was all playing its part in the last four years. They've they've uh, discovered there's a there's a possibility to to run football in Nairobi professionally. You are saying that you are the people who are mandated to do this, but you've not been doing it. So you've been a dog in the manger. But yeah. no, my question is very simple. This We will go back and forth for forever, but my question is very simple. There are a lot of boys playing football in them town. So they've given them a platform to earn, actually every team uh, in that uh, Super 8 league will earn 10,000 shillings per month to put into an income generating project. Uh, the winners will earn a lot of money. They will be given uh, kids to play with. They'll be given all these things. Uh, in them, it's not, it's not uh, maybe you're seated here, but there's someone playing in them, it's an important thing to get those kids, to get that money to run a business. So you're saying no, they're saying yes, they've gotten it. How do we bridge this gap? Or how are you going to stop them from doing it? I think that the, the elephant in the room is this. People are mistaking the position of the Federation to mean that they want the sponsorship curtailed or stopped. What the Federation is saying is very simple. And, and, and for the record, super, uh, super 8 or Extreme Sports, just like myself, I, I'm a consultant for the Federation. Mm -hmm. We are basically saying we are coming in and trying to help the Federation to do the, the right things. The way to go is let extreme sports apply to the federation, sit down with the federation and say, uh, this is what we have done. This is the proposal that we have. We have a sponsor on board. How do we yeah. work together to ensure that? Maybe I should remind him of Sakata. Maybe I should remind him of Sakata. See, that. We don't, have you done any of that? We, look, I think maybe you remember last year yes. when we, we, we started the ninth edition. Yeah. With the first step we did, we engaged the federation, the Nairobi branch, mm -hmm. and they responded positively and we start and agree that the tournament should should go on. We have we have paper trail on that, yeah? The next thing when we launched the tournament, the Federation took us to court. And yeah, the FIFA I was going to wonder because I know uh, you were the, taken to court. The Federation took us to court. <laughs> <laughs> The same same federation you are talking, you are, talking for, you are telling us to ask blessings. Mm -hmm. Already they are, they, they, they are not happy with what we are doing. Okay, so, so no, I, I, uh, I, I, Nyabola, because you I are know we keep going court. back and forth. Remember, Nyabola, the maybe this is the part where you come in, and uh, from you who's been listening to this conversation, uh, going forward now, we're going into the elections, and uh, on the 10th of uh, February, the minister says we'll have uh, elections. So maybe just going into now, talk about elections. Uh, what do you think should, should happen? Grassroots football in Kenya. 
Well, uh, <laughs> there's a question of who should be doing it anyway. But mm -hmm. then the corporate, I've seen a gap, as Obala was saying there, and uh, they're trying to fix it. But let's focus on what the viewers think. Mm -hmm. Light don't here says, as long as the taxpayer's money is being used to develop a sport, we must, and she stresses the word must, see value for it. We'll not accept pity parties anymore. Uh, uh, Emperor Joseph Simiu here says, but why would extreme sports want to run a league? They should stick to the tournament thing. So here is a challenge for you, Abala, in uh, your endeavors. Mlezi Moja says, I have no faith that football federation, in that football federation, they end providing a connection between players and the ministry. We have uh, Sam Makoha who says, people, we have given mandate to run football in Kenya, turn to economic looters. And again, Lydon says, top spot, I take offense with people like Nyakundi who are comfortable with uh, below average performance. Yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, we want the best, and heck, we deserve the best. So we are talking We are talking about football in that, and of course, Scott Biro tournament, we didn't have the time to talk about that. A Thousand Street retained the title last week on Sunday at the Umeme Grounds in Ziwani. We take a break right now, but when we come back, fun with fans.